Good morning. Thank you for joining us for prayer this morning. I'm Natalie Hardy. This is Eileen Vincent, and we are going to be praying this morning. Uh, there's so much to pray for, so much to pray about, so many things that are happening. But I really want to do what the scriptures exhort us to do. And I think there's a reason why. I mean, nothing God says is without reason. But he does tell us in, in Psalm chapter 100 that we are to enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise and be faithful unto him but and praise his name. Mm -hmm. uh, and the reason why I think that's important is because as individual people, we can have a tendency to pray out of our emotions. But God doesn't want us to pray out of our emotions. He wants us to pray out of his truth of his word. Mm -hmm. And so as we enter his gates with thanksgiving, we focus on him. We focus on who he is. And his spirit comes upon us. And that enables us to pray out of the truth of the word. So let's enter his, his presence with thanksgiving <coughs> right now. Father, we just thank you and praise you. We worship mm -hmm. you. We magnify you. We yes. exalt you, Lord. We decree that we understand that you are God Almighty and you are worthy yes. of praise and glory and yes. honor because of who you are, what you've done, what you're doing in all of us. We know, Lord God, that you are just with everything that goes on every day. You use it to change us, to challenge us, to mold us, to make us into your image, into your likeness. Lord, this is an invisible but powerful work that you do in us. And it is purposeful. And so we work worship you today. We praise you today that, Lord, for you, nothing is impossible. You know everything that's going on. You're always at work, and we just worship you today. We exalt you today. We, we extol you today because you are so worthy. We love you, Lord. We just love you. Just love on him wherever you are. Just Amen. enter his gate praise right now with Father. thanksgiving, with we praise and you. worship. And we just love you, Lord. We just thank you, Father, for who you are. Yes, we thank you, yes, Holy Lord. Spirit, that you are in us, that you are with us, that you whisper to us yes. the things of God. You lead us and guide us, Holy Spirit. Yes. And we want to thank you for what, for doing that every moment of every day. Bless Hallelujah. Bless you be your name. Bless Hallelujah. Be your name. <laughs> yes. Father, I thank you. You paved a way for us into your presence. Yes. Father, I thank you, Lord, you've opened the way. Yes. And Lord, as we live in that glorious life, the life of Christ, Lord, you are the way. And Father, we bless you. We come in your presence, Father. We thank you, Lord, for the sheer privilege of being in the presence of the living God. Yes. Father, for the privilege of saying, when you, we hear you say, Ask and you shall receive. Yes, Father, Lord. we thank you what privilege is given to us. Hallelujah. And Father, we thank you that as we come into that place, Lord, we see your glory, we see your magnificence. Lord God, you invite us into that place. And Lord God, you just you tell us the most incredible things, Father. Lord, you want to bless us, you want to you want to encourage us. You tell us that even Father, you would clothe us with your glory. God, we can't even we can, our minds cannot take I take it all in. We cannot understand how these things can be, Lord. But, Father, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Father, today. We enter into that holy place. We enter into your presence. We enter into the very throne room of our God. Hallelujah. And, Father, we speak forth those things which we hear being spoken forth from the throne of our yes, living God. Lord. And, Father, we say, yes, arise, O oh Lord. O oh God, lift up your hand. Don't forget the humble at this time, Lord God. And why do the, re the wicked renounce God? Why are they say in their heart, you won't even require this in our account. You don't even see what's going on. Father, Lord God, we say yes. You see and you observe every grief and trouble. That's right. Oh God, we just say, Father, Lord God, even at this time, Lord, we say, look upon the situation even in our own nation, Lord. And you, we know your eye sees every grief and trouble. Yes. Even as your word says. And Lord, he says also, you will repay my your hand for the helpless commits himself to you huh. and you are the helper of the fatherless and lord of all those who are being opposed of those who are being um just uh, just wickedly used even at this time father we say in the name of jesus you are the helper of those who are the underdog yes. those who are father uh, the less than you are the helper of all those lord Lord, who are struggling, even in this life at this present time. I, I pray too, Father, 
that you are the helper of those who've lost their jobs at this time. Yes, you are. You're the helper of those, Lord, who are desperately worried as how even to feed their family. Yes, Lord. Father, we say you are the helper. <laughs> and God, I just ask you, even today, in the practical way, Lord, connect help to those who need help. Yes, Lord. Right here in our city of San Antonio and in every city across this nation, we say connect help. We, we know, Lord, that there is food available, and Lord, it's just the channels and the avenues of distribution uh, need to be uh, clarified. And Lord, I pray that those who need help will find help. And God, we just, we just lift this to you because your word says you are a helper mm. to those who commit themselves to you. Mm. And thank you, Lord. Yes, Father, I do want to thank you that I believe you are doing that as we see mm -hmm. more and more food being distributed around our city, more and yes. more churches being involved in that. And so, yes, the distribution centers and the lines are, are being drawn and people are coming and people are serving and they're doing it with joy. And I yes, thank you for yes, that. Yes, yes, <coughs> I thank you for that. Mm. Thank you, Lord, for the cooperation that there is, even in the city. Lord, to teach those who don't know how to do it. And Lord, just to help them, Father, to get involved. Lord, because the heart is there to be involved. Yep. And I pray, Father, that more and more churches will find that way. Mm. And Father, I, I just, I'm just, ex I'm just excited because you did tell us that we need to pray. Uh, in, in First Timothy, for, pray. You, you exhorted us to pray first of all, supplications, prayers intercession, giving of thanks be made for all men, for kings and all who are in authority. And Lord, I'm focused on all who are in authority because the time that we're living in, we can see anarchy trying to hit cities and states and nations. Anarchy is trying to come into our societies and wreak havoc and amazing decisions are being made by these leaders and people in authority. So we need to pray for all who are in authority. Mm. Lord, so we do come right now in the name of Jesus. We lift up police chiefs. We lift up, oh God, governors and mayors who are making huge decisions right now regarding how police departments function and uh, and how they even funded all kinds of things that are going on. We ask, oh God, that you would give them your wisdom, cause them to seek you for wisdom and not to be sway wrongly by what's happening in the world, but to recognize that there is a higher wisdom than the loud thing that they're hearing right now. I pray that you will cause them to press into you, to want to know that you are their source of wisdom, you are their source of direction, you are their guidance, and that you want to guide them, you want to help, you want to lead them, you want to show them a better way, the right way, the more profitable way. But we just pray in the name of Jesus for people who are in authority in our cities and our states in this in this hour, it's a crazy hour that we're in. We ask, oh God, that the challenge of it all would cause them to cry out to you, to believe that you are there, to see you, and to cry out for your wisdom, to know that there is a higher wisdom than what we're seeing parading around in our cities in this day, and our states in this day. We pray, Lord God, that they will cry out to you to make the decision that you want them to make and to lead in the way that you want them to lead in Jesus' name. Amen. And Father, as we look at the situation, we see, Lord, that fear is ruling totally. And Lord God, that mayors and decision makers uh, are making decisions in the light of fear. Yes. And they do not recognize what they're doing. But Lord, that fear is causing them to compromise even that which is wisdom and that which is right. And so, Father, we come before you. And Lord, that um, security that, Lord, is established by your righteousness and your mm. justice mm. and truth mm. is just being leaned upon. And Lord, it will be pushed over, Lord, by sheer compromise driven by fear. <coughs> and Father, we're coming before you and we're asking you, Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus, that, Lord, you would lift up a standards right in the midst of all of this, Father. And, Lord God, we come against that spirit of fear, which is 
driving uh, people who have eaten of sane mind, Lord, to do crazy things, Father. And Father, we come before you and we say, Lord God, you spirit of fear, yes. we come against you in the name of Jesus. We lift up that powerful yes. name of Jesus and we bring that name of Jesus against that spirit of fear. Yes. And we say, you get off. You get out of the minds of these leaders and these decision makers. Be gone in Jesus' name. Yes. And let not those uh, decisions be made, compromised decisions be made because of fear pushing them. That's right. And I see it like a wall, just a bulging as it's being pushed against. Mm. And that is a wall of, of that which is protection and truth and righteousness and correct judgments. I see that wall is being pushed against and it's bulging out and it could collapse and it could fall. And Father, I just ask you, Lord, for the straining hand of the living God to come down upon these mayors, these uh, governors, Lord, making stupid decisions, Father, Lord, driven by fear, and Lord, uh, the desire to be um, accepted by the, uh, those who are doing works of darkness, oh, Lord. God. Oh, God. God they are aligning themselves with the work of darkness and they do not understand what they're doing. But Lord, they're looking for their way of peace. But Lord, it is saying peace, peace, but there is no peace. That's right. And Father, I cry to you, Lord, in the name of the mighty name of my Lord Jesus. <coughs> step in, in this issue, Lord. Bring, bring sanity, bring wisdom. Cause people to step back from silly decisions. Yep. Lord, cause them to step back. Lord, if they have to have a restraint upon them, put it there. Yep. Lord, if there's higher authorities which will put like a, a, a rope upon them and pull them back, a restrainer, Lord. Mm. I ask you, Father, put the restraining hand of God yep. upon them, Lord, from decision-making which is foolishness. Yep. Yep. And Father, continue to send your people, send your people who are anoint, anointed, who know your word, who love you, love yes. your word, who recognize that your word is is a as a source of strength to us. It is a, a it creates a, a barrier, so to speak, uh, for us to walk in a, a highway system to walk in. And and I pray, Lord God, that. Um, uh, they will be sent by you to these who are in authority to begin to speak to them. Sow your truth in their hearts. Yes. Sow your truth in their minds and their yes. spirits. And Lord, they will be equipped because you are sending the equippers. Yes. You are sending people to them who have the word in them, who have your counsel, who have your heart, who have sat under you, who have sat with you, who have listened for your voice, and yes. they're sharing yes. what you have. They are sharing with them what you have shared with them. They are sharing with these leaders what you have shared with them. And that, Lord, these leaders would then be equipped yes. to, to make right decisions from yes. the right basis. Yes. Not to, to, oh, we agree. Not to be uh, in any way uh, 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 forced into reacting by what the enemy is doing or by some uh, foul demonic spirit of fear or self. Lord, we just pray right now that they will not be led by the spirit of self, but they'll be led by the spirit of God. Yes. They'll be led by the spirit of wisdom that comes from you. That yes. all these things that come from you are right. And we ask, oh God, that these, this spirit, your spirit be, and your wisdom be given to those who are in authority in this hour. That they begin to uh, do things from that perspective, not from what the enemy is saying or trying to do around us. We just pray, Lord God, right now in the name of Jesus, mm -hmm. that you would cause um, something to happen in these in these leaders, that they will recognize that the, the, these loud uh, shouting and noise that they're hearing is not what they should be following. Give them the strength. Give them the the uh, uh, straight personal strength to 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 reject that which is not of you. Mm. In Jesus' name. Oh God. We recognize, Lord, that's tough. Yeah. That is very hard. And so, Father, we pray even for our own mayor in this city. Yeah. And we pray, Father, that you will shut his ears to clamor to that which is wrong, unrighteous. Shut his ears to responding to that which, Lord, 
is contrary to your will, your yep. word, your yep. way. Lord, shut his ears. Yep. Give him courage. Lord, I recognize the necessity for courage. Lord, Gideon, in his day, lived in a day of wickedness where false gods were worshipped, even in his own home. His father had his false gods. And yet, Lord, you caused that man to stand up and pull them down. Yep. And Lord, he was terrified to do it. And Lord God, I can understand those in these positions are frightened, Lord. They're frightened even for them, their own skin, for their position, Lord, and for everything. That Lord, they are, do, they are frightened, they'll do the wrong thing. Mm. And so they go with the mob. Oh God, history tells us that this was never a good way to go. No. And so Father, we just cry out to you, Lord, for courage, for the courage of Gideon to come upon some of these, Lord, who are fearful even at this time, that Lord, they'll pull down their father's gods. They'll pull oh, down, God. they'll pull down that which is evil and they will stand for that which is true and right. Oh God, do miracles, Lord in this day and age of ours. Yes. God, turn things around. Lord, your people all over this nation are praying even now, Lord God. And we say, Lord, hear our cry. Turn things around, Lord God. Lord, not just in a superficial way, but in the very depths of a leadership, Father. Yes. Turn things around. Yes. Lord, turn to righteousness. Bring deep repentance, Father. Oh God, I cry out to you, Father. Lord, you've, you, we know within you know, the depths of our being, Lord God, there's no way back to you, except, Lord, we deal with that which is wrong and we repent. And Father, you said, if my people... Yes would turn from their wicked yes, ways. Righteous. Lord, if the people of God would start seeking your face and praying and seeking you, Lord God, and turning, mm. turning, Lord God, Lord, give a recognition, Lord God, of how your own people need to repent here, Lord yes, God. Oh God. And Lord, even the repentance of the church paves the way for the revival in the society. Right, and oh God, right. we say in Jesus' name, let true, true repentance come down. Lord, let us here in the city of San Antonio, let the way for those in places of authority be made easy for them to turn and do the right thing because the church has repented and paved a way for them. Yes. Lord God, cause us to pave the way, pave the way through the church, Father, that those in places of authority, Lord, will be so powerful influenced by the spiritual the spiritual influence upon them Lord to do the right thing yes God we we acknowledge the church has the power to change the atmosphere that's right and father I pray that the church in every city across this nation will be that church which would change the atmosphere yeah. oh god that it would line the atmosphere with the very presence of the living god and bring it down lord and father that those people who are in positions of authority lord will not be able to walk the ways of, of evil father but they will be influenced by that the atmosphere yes that is created yes. by heaven father yes. upon yes. the earth yes. lord we open up a portal over this city lord I in the it. name of jesus we open the portals of heaven yes. over this city we say heaven come down yes. the will of God be done on earth as he's done in the heavens yes. we decree it, we declare it, we say our, gov our governor, our mayors of, the, of this whole state Lord will feel the influence of the power of heaven coming down they will not be able to legislate to that which is evil, they will be forced father, even in their own beings Lord, to repent themselves and yes. turn away from wicked ways yes. they will be they will be empowered yes. by you yes. to do that which is right yes. by the very force of heaven coming yes. down. Yes. God, God, the church comes before you, Lord yes. God. We come with, with tears of repentance, our God. And we say, Father, forgive us for our backsliding. Forgive us for neglecting the call of God upon us. Forgive us, Father, for not opening up the heavens. Forgive us, Lord, for not changing atmospheres. Yes. Forgive us, Lord. Oh, God. God. We know we're here for purpose, Lord. We are here for purpose. We are here for decreeing and declaring and shifting and changing. We are here to establish the heaven, heavenly kingdom upon the earth. Yes. Yes, and we right. decree that into being. Yes, Lord. This city shall feel the impact 
of heaven on earth. That's right. We decree that we want the in kingdom Jesus of heaven. Name. We want the kingdom yes. of heaven. We yes. want the atmosphere of heaven on our earth, on in our cities, yes. in our homes, in our heart, Lord yes. God. The kingdom of heaven. We want to see it made manifest. We want to see it work its perfect work around us. We want the kingdom of heaven. So we pray for the church to take her rightful place. To take her place. You called us to be legislators in the earth through the power of prayer. Oh. And that our labor is not in vain in yes. you. We pray that, Lord, that you will raise by your spirit the, the level and the depth and the power of prayer in and through your people. That, Lord, a sound, a certain sound will begin to arise in this hour from the church standing and taking her role, taking her place on by the spirit and on with your word. Yes. Knowing, oh God, that you've already given us everything yes, that we need for life and for godliness and we will not reject what you've given us we will not in any way count it less than because it is in the spirit realm as opposed to into the natural realm we recognize lord that what we do not see is more yes, powerful than what we do see yes. and so we thank you for that we thank you that we know these things we pray lord god that more and more and more your church knows these things yeah, that we are not yeah, those who are led by what we can you. see with our natural eye yeah. But we uh, see with the eye of the Spirit. And we know that what that which is in the unseen realm of the Spirit is more real than that which is in this natural realm. And we pray, Lord God, that we as the church will finally come to that place at this time that we fully understand these things. Mm. and that we embrace them and that impacts all of our decision making yes. and all of the counsel mm, yes. that you open us the opportunity to give to those who are in decision making positions. Yes. And yes. we pray, Lord God, that as your people go, you will anoint our tongues like the pen of a ready writer. Mm. That we'll be able to write on the hearts and minds of people. And they will see what you see. They will hear what you're saying. Yes. And they will be uh, enabled by your spirit to make the right decisions. Mm. Lord, we need you to intervene. And we ask, oh God, for you to use us, your people. Mm. Give us what we need to serve you. Mm. Give us in this very hour what we need to serve you. And we mm. pray, Lord God, that the church will have that courage and that boldness to go. Mm. Even the places that we may, may not have gone before. Mm. That we will go. Go knowing that we are not going alone. That you go before us. Mm. And you go with us. Mm. And you have equipped us and you are equipping us. Mm. Lord, we pray that this reality, this truth, will be in our hearts. Mm. And we will be on we will be emboldened by it all and we will demonstrate the courage that you have said that we are mm. and lord we pray that for this for the church we thank you father for doing this in us mm. and working your perfect work through your people in this hour in jesus name and listen to what the word of the lord says psalm 11 and verse 17 lord You've heard the desire of the humble. Hallelujah. You will prepare their hearts. Hallelujah. You will come and cause your ear to hear. Hallelujah. To do justice to the fatherless yes, and the oppressed. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, Father, for your word, for Natalie, and for all those with that desire. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, our God. We bless you. Father, I know across this whole nation mm -hmm. you are calling people. Mm -hmm. Lord, you are raising new voices. That's right. Not because you're going to do a, a new thing which has never happened. It's, it is a God thing which has been waiting to happen. And Father, I thank you. It will be new. But Lord, it's just something you have prepared for this hour. Yes. And I thank you, Lord, you prepare your people across this nation. Yep. I thank you, Lord, in this city, you are preparing people. Yes. Lord, you're moving people around mm -hmm. and bringing them to that place of um, receiving new authority. Yes. And new callings, new anointings. New, um, and with the anointings and the callings and the positionings, comes new acceptance mm. and so father we just thank you we see it happening and we we pray father for um, every person who you have already ordained and called into those places and positions mm -hmm. like on a chessboard father just be moved in that right position yes, father i just see that happening as if mm -hmm. on a chessboard and oh, thank you lord 
you just do that, Lord. Yeah. And Father, I'm asking, Lord, for such total, complete yieldedness. Yes, yeah. yes. And that, Lord, that, that the questions which arise of how, Lord, why, Lord, mm. um, where, Lord, mm. uh, Father, you will answer them all or silence them, Father. Oh, God. Silence them until, Father, the foot is put in that right place mm. at the right time. Father, I thank you. You're the God, the, strat the strategist of all strategists. Yeah, supreme strategist. And Lord, you know exactly how to do it. Mm -hmm. And Father, even as you have showed me many, many years ago, you've already established, um, I saw like the blueprint, the heavenly blueprint coming down upon this city. Lord, it's already established in the heavenly realm. And Father, I thank you, Lord, that even now, um, this is being pulled down upon the city. Oh, yes, I thank you, Lord. Pulled down by the power of prayer. And Father, because the right places are there for it to be linked in, established, locked into. Lord, I thank you, Father. I thank you, Lord, for the timings of God. I pray, Father, for people in this city and in other places, Father, who need to prepare places for others. Yes. And Lord, those who prepare places and those who fill places, yeah. I thank you, Father, for each. <coughs> Lord, each has got its value. Mm -hmm. And I praise you for it, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I praise you for it, Lord. Yes, oh God. I pray too, Father, for those who fill places, yeah. to have the acceptance, Lord, that, Lord, the acceptance of heaven, yes, and as that Jew rests, I pray, Lord, it will give acceptance with men. Mm. Yeah. Uh, Father, we just give you praise. Yeah. We give you worship. Yeah. Father, we recognize that these things happen because of a real humility yeah. Yeah. on the hearts of people. Mm -hmm. First, humility to you, to go where you send them, yeah. to not chart their own course, but to allow you to direct their paths. Yeah. So I thank you for that level of humility yes, growing yes, in the hearts of your yes, people. Yes. That we, your people, will go wherever you are saying go. Mm. And we will know that as we prayed already, we do not go alone, but you go with us. Mm. And I thank you also for that humility uh, in us in terms of our interaction with each other. You said that we should judge, not to judge each other. Mm -hmm. Judge that we not be judged. Mm. Yeah. You, that's what you said. Mm. And so we pray, Lord God, that uh, there will be such a humility in one another that, Lord, we will receive our brother and our sister, <laughs> and that we recognize, Lord, in your in your in the awesome, awesomeness of who you are, yeah. you have made us to be different, yet to despite that difference, to unite, and that yeah. our differences make us stronger together. Mm. And Lord, we pray that the church will come to that place of understanding that we really need one another. Amen. That one is different by design. Yes. And Lord God, we you have made you have designed that difference and that we complement one another and in our in our unity, in our oneness, in our togetherness, yeah. we create more of a wholeness of who you are and what you're doing, what you're saying. Mm -hmm. And so we pray, Lord God, that your church will come to that level of humility that we'll be able to demonstrate this and, and together we'll be able to, to manifest what you are saying in the earth, Lord God. We pray for these things. We recognize, Lord God, every coin has two sides, but it's one coin. And we pray, Lord God, that we in church will recognize that, Lord, we are here to represent different sides of who you are. But it is one God. You are one God. And we bless you. you. And we want the cities of this nation and the world, the people, to know you in all of your fullness. And so we thank you. That even in your wisdom, it says you gave some to be apostles, some to be prophets, some to be pastors, and some to be teachers. And then you say why you did that. That we will all come to a full understanding. Because they come from a different perspective. And a different way of operating. But it's all representing in one God. And we want to thank you for your supreme wisdom. By, by which, you, which you do things. <laughs> and we just thank you, Father, for your wisdom being seen in this hour that we're in. And being you being glorified by it. 
Mm -hmm. So we just commit all of this to you. We say thank you, Father, for all that you're doing. Continue to work your perfect work in every one of these arenas in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, I just I see a I see a river of your blood just flowing through the cities of this land. Huh. Oh. I see your blood, Lord. It's your blood that speaks a better word. Yes, it it's does. It's your blood that speaks a better word over racism, oh. over yes, anger, yes, 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 over yes, yes, hatred. Yes. It speaks a better word over yes, pain. Yes. Lord, it's your word. It's mm. your blood that speaks a better mm. word over this generation that has rose up against lawlessness. I pray, Lord, right now that the blood of Jesus would yes, cover the yes, streets of this yes. land over this nation, that, Lord, you would, you would begin to see the evidence and the manifestation of your blood bringing healing, restoration, forgiveness, repentance, wholeness. Lord, the blood of Jesus, I yes. plead it over this land, Lord, over the streets Amen. of this land. Lord, over Seattle, oh, we plead the blood of Jesus yes, over Lord. Seattle. Yes, right Lord. Now. Yes, Lord. We pray right now that you would fall upon those young people who are confused and filled with demonic activity. And I speak, Lord, the blood of Jesus. Mm. I pray right now, Lord, heavenly angels, hosts of the angels would be released now, Lord. The burning fire of God would begin to be manifest, Lord, that the church in Seattle would rise up, yes. would rise up and take its place. Strengthen begin, Lord, to speak to those that would have a heart to cry out to the young people, Lord, <coughs> that we would see evidence of the kingdom of God begin to rise up in Seattle right now. In Jesus' yes. mighty name, yes. thank you, Lord. Yes. And Father, we come before you in repentance concerning removing prayer and yeah. the word of God oh, from the schools yes. so that Father we produce a generation such oh, as those in Father, Seattle Lord us. it's the Forgive obvious us. way for those who are godless and without any yes. guidance whatsoever yes. any knowledge of truth and so Father we come before you and we ask your Lord that Lord you would have mercy on us yes. that Father that which we have produced as a generation Lord a godless generation, yes. Lord. This is the responsibility oh of the church and Lord of our generation, Father. This is what we have done. Yes. And Lord God, we yes. just ask you, Father, for your grace, yes. forgiveness, Father. Yes. Lord, I pray the repentance is taking place, Father, for this sin, Lord, yes. in the church, Lord, that you would have mercy upon us, Father. Yes. And in your mercy, stretch out your hand yes. into that generation, yes. Lord God, that's so godless, so helpless, so hopeless, yes. and God so needy. Yes. Oh Lord, I pray, Father. Father, rather than seeing the foul things that they do and the wrong attitudes that they hold, Lord God, we will come to them, Father, with the life and truth of the yes. Word of God. And Father, we pray, Lord, for your mercy upon them, Lord, for the softening power yes. of the Holy Spirit, Lord God, to soften hearts, open hearts, prepare yourself a harvest of souls, Father, among those people. Lord, I know that right there in Seattle there are fantastic churches and fantastic praying people. Oh, Lord God, and I pray, oh, Father, that their God. prayers, Lord, will would have heard. risen to the heavens, Father, yes, will be oh, heard God. even at this time, Lord God, and there'll be a reversal of that situation, yes, and Father God, Jesus. that Lord, it'll be a reversal of bringing great joy, great peace, great salvation, Father, to a very, very yes. lost generation, yes. and God, we, we recognize, Lord, the spirit powers that have taken hold of Seattle and that whole uh, area of the United States. Father, Lord, the anarchy, the um, oh, hopelessness, Jesus. Father, which came out of um, the free thinking, yeah. Father, of homosexuality, mm -hmm. and oh, Lord, God. every wrong way of thinking, Father, every twisting right. of your word, Lord God, every um, deliberate Jesus. opposition to the truth of your word, Lord, as the people have stubbornly, st in a stiff necked fashion, walked yeah. in that way, Lord God, they've oh, opened massive God. doors to the powers of darkness. But God, we come up to those great bronze doors and we stand before them in the name of our God and we say, Lord God, that nothing shall prevail against the church of the United, the mighty God. And Lord, we say, Father, no, the gates of hell shall not prevail. 
Hallelujah. That's right. Thank you, God. And Lord, you said to us through the prophet Malachi, before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord, you said that you would turn the hearts of the fathers to the Amen. children and the hearts of the children to their fathers. Oh, yes, 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 they come yes. and strike the earth with a curse. Yes. Lord, we see the importance of this now more yes. important yes. than yes. ever that the Great generations food. unite, that the generations un uh, line up yes. with each other, that the sons need the fathers, and the fathers need the sons. We need each other. And we pray, Lord God, that the generations will come together, that the older generation who knows your truth, who knows your ways, who has learned you, will begin to be used of you to teach to the younger generation and the younger generation will be open to receive yes. even more that you would use the immense pain of the hour that we're in to bring the generations together that they Lord God will learn from each other they will learn from you by connecting together and sharing the truth of your word Lord I pray I pray that the coming together will be led of you and Holy Spirit you begin to teach one generation from another and that, Lord, we will see your decision-making, your, your way of doing things uh, emerging in hearts and lives and, and, and people. And, and whatever we do will be fueled by your word and by your spirit. Mm -hmm. But we ask you to do this. Only you can do this. Mm -hmm. yeah. We see how, yes, through decisions that have been made in our education system to remove uh, prayer from schools and, and Bible from schools and the Ten Commandments from schools. Lord God, that our children are, 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 are out there. There, without any real anything to yeah. anything to mourn them, anything to hold them down. Mm. But Lord God, we pray. Yeah. Uh, we know that you are not absent of, of, of people that can serve you whenever there's a time of need. Yeah. And so we thank you, Lord, for that older generation. Yes. Connecting with the young the younger generation. Mm. Teaching them who you are, teaching them mm. your ways teaching them a love for you and a love for your word and how to seek you, how to hear you, how to serve you. And that, Lord God, they will be used of you, this younger generation. And they will not be out there without any kind of anchor. But we just pray in the name of Jesus that you will draw these generations together and you are out with the plans of darkness. In Jesus' name. Lord, I, I, I speak and pray especially for the fathers, Lord. The fathers, whether they're spiritual fathers or physical fathers, if they would rise up in this season yep. and take their place to their sons and daughters and speak into their lives, Lord, That's with right. boldness and That's confidence, right. yep. Lord, where they've been weakened by a culture, Lord, that they would see their place in the kingdom of God right now is just speak into the lives yes. with such authority, Lord, to tear down the demonic spirits that have captured our young people through through the a spirit of lawlessness. Lord, I pray right now that you would embolden our fathers. Hallelujah. Lord, give them the confidence yes. they need to move yes. forward. Lord, they walk in the spirit of love, power, and soundness of mind. Amen. We speak that over our fathers today, Hallelujah. Lord. Move upon them, I pray. In Jesus' mighty name, Thank our you. men will take their place. Amen. I pray right now our men would rise up in prayer, Lord. Yes, yes. They would rise up, Lord. Flow through them, Lord, in such a powerful way that they can see. Lord, they are not weak. They are not small. But they are they are used in a mighty way by you. In Jesus' mm -hmm. name I pray. And they're appointed and anointed by yes. you. Lord God, there's nobody else who can fulfill that role. That's right. Lord, they were ordained of God right. to be fathers. Mm. And so, Father, we just pray for our city here. We pray for pastors mm -hmm. who are meeting together to pray. We pray for yes. more and more and more. Lord, of groupings of pastors to come together in humility before you, Lord, that they will begin to pray. Father, as the leadership prays, so the church will pray. And so, Father, we pray for these leaders. We pray, Father, for them, for a breaking of every um, uh, attitude within them that keeps them separate or guards their patch. Lord, building their own empire rather than seeing that we're part and parcel of one body, building one kingdom with one enemy. And God, I just pray in Jesus' name, you'll open eyes of leadership 
in this city and that Lord they will come together with a united one heart and we pray God Father for the uh, fulfillment of your plans and your prophetic words over this city yeah. that Lord God we will see the massive outpouring of your Holy Spirit yeah. and Father that we will see the engathering of a mighty harvest yeah. right here in this city and God we just we call it forth Father yes. we say oh, Lord we, we see you putting yes. to pe into uh, play those pieces which are necessary Father but Lord God we say Lord let there be an earnestness in the hearts of those Lord who are leadership in this city mm. let the earnestness of the Spirit be upon them Amen. and Lord God let self-seeking be put down and trampled underfoot Lord God and Father let recognition come to those who um, are given um, the leadership and the grace of God upon their lives yeah. Lord Lord in your day father you raised up James as the apostle in Jerusalem That's father right. you raise up people who you ordain and who yeah. you establish exactly. and father we say for the grace of the Lord to rest upon them yeah. and father we pray for the recognition the coming from the body of Christ I pray father in a city of, of this magnitude father that your hand will be upon us Lord to do what you would do in raising up that leadership of your choice yeah. That's right. and father, Father, we just we call be, call up before you, Father. Lord, your will be done over yes. San Antonio as it's yes. done in the heavens. That's right. yes. We call it forth. Yes, we we pray, Father, for excellent, excellent race relationships in this yes. city. That's right. Not not guided by um, secular government, That's right. but right. guided by the church. That's right. the we say, of Father, God. let the government of God right. lead yeah. the race relationships of this city. Yes. Father, they have been excellent in the past, and we say, yes. let them remain so, and not be stirred up now, Lord, by spirit powers. That's right. Father, we say, we, we resist them That's right, in God's Lord. name. That's right. We resist yeah, every Lord. interloping Lord. spirit Lord. into this city. That's right. We say, you've got no place. We won't even accommodate you or give you place. That's right. Mm -hmm. Father, I pray for an opening of the mouth of the church, which feels um, in any way sidelined. I pray for the black yes. church. I yes. pray for Hispanic churches. I pray, Father, for they that they will open their mouths and they will yes. speak the truth in love. Mm -hmm. And that, Father, that they will be bold to speak forth your truth, Father. And, Father, I pray for them, those churches which are mainly Caucasian, Father, that you would just give them uh, grace too to speak truth Hallelujah. and not to, in any way to pull back in any kind of fear. That's right. Father, we just pray, Father, <coughs> for such a, a, an exception, accepting of one another. Yes. That, yes. Lord, we recognize we're all just one in this body of Christ. That's right. That's right. Lord, that is your design. Yes. And we recognize that your your kingdom is not a race a racist kingdom. Mm -hmm. It is, it is a race based. Exactly, exactly. It's a phenomenal kingdom. And yes, Lord, you yeah. said in your word that we are to wage an effective warfare with the prophecies mm -hmm. spoken over us. Amen. And Lord, you said that to us. And, and so we are going to do that. And I want to thank you that you had uh, Cindy Jacobs release a prophetic word in our conference many years ago in this city. And decree, wow. you decreed that San Antonio will be a racism-free city. Yeah. And Lord, we stand yeah. on that word yeah. in Jesus' name. Yeah. We Amen. pray Amen. it into force right now. We yeah. pray that yeah. there that those forces of racism will have no place to rest in the city of San Antonio. No resting place here. It will be uncomfortable here. It will not be received here. Mm -hmm. If we are diverse in this city. Yeah. And we are called of you to impact our nation. And though we say right now in the name of Jesus, we will impact our nation from good, from the purposes of God. Mm -hmm. And so we decree, Lord God, that we are a racism-free city. It will not reside in our hearts. And we will demonstrate love for the races, for each other. And that, Lord, in you, we know that we are one. Amen. Thank you. And we will manifest that oneness in the name of Jesus. We will do it with joy. We will do it, Lord God, knowing that you are with us. Mm -hmm. yes. And it will be something that is fueled by your love. Mm -hmm. Love for you and love for one another. You say in your word, look at these Christians. Look how they love one another. Mm. And that is true. And it's irrespective of our color, our nationality. We are all washed by the blood of Jesus. And so we say, Lord God, let the church manifest that love for you and for one another in this hour. Now more than ever, we need to do that. Mm. So that we can show the world what can be. That your kingdom is a racism-free zone. Mm -hmm. And because of that, because you're in the city, then San Antonio is a racism-free zone. Yeah. 
Mm. And so we thank you for that. We thank you for doing these things. We mm. thank you for mm. be, uh, glorifying yourself through mm. us. Mm. And I thank you, Father, for uh, the heart within your people to, to, to serve you in this way, to, to know that everything that we're doing, we're doing it as an act of worship, an act of service towards you. Mm. In Jesus' name. Yes. And just that I sense that uh, even across the whole country, there are, there are churches and there are individuals who have been very settled in the truth mm. of who they are, racist, wise, you know, it's just that we are one. Yes. And yet, Lord, uh, there's a spirit power working through political organizations. That's right. Which is stirring up hatred. Yeah. Mm. And, and Father, I just come against that foul spirit. Yeah. Lord, it's an interloper, mm. and I know it's trying to come in our city too, yeah. mm -hmm. working through, it's a political spirit yeah. using uh, racism, yeah. and Lord, it speaks lies, yeah, and right. it stirs up anger, it, it, um, it reinvigorates past pain which that's has right, been dealt that's right, with that's right. yeah. and it's intended to do that yeah. and so father we come before you and we uncover it and lord we bring it into the light mm -hmm. we say we know who you are <laughs> we Hallelujah. recognize your activity Hallelujah. and we bring you into the light and we expose you to the very light of god and we say in jesus name stop yeah. just stop yeah. you have no way here right. we silence your voice in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Father, we recognize that these are unprecedented days that we're in. Yes. But we know it didn't catch you by surprise. No. Here we are in 2020, a pivotal year. And we pray, Lord God, that from this year will be the beginning of a phenomenal thing that you begin to do in the earth. And that here in the city of San Antonio, we will have our our portion of what you're doing. This is a time of turning, a time of shifting, a time of changing. And we pray that, Lord, you are putting your people, you are doing something in us as a people that we are shifting and changing within ourselves mm -hmm. to affect you and affect your truth in ways that we haven't done before. Mm -hmm. And that we are being positioned on the inside by you yeah. so that we can be positioned on the outside in our cities mm -hmm. to make the right decisions that you want us to make. Lord, we know that this is a pivotal year, so we thank you, Lord God, for all that you are doing. We know that you are at work. Mm -hmm. Even though there's so much chaos and turmoil around us, we know that you are at work in the midst of this. Mm -hmm. Because you always have a people who are <clears throat> praying, who are worshiping, who are impacting the atmosphere where they are. And we thank you, Father, for the people here in this city that are serving you in the place of prayer. Thank you for what you're putting in us to pray. Thank you for how you're leading us by your spirit. Thank you that our labor is not in vain in you. Thank you, Lord, that when we pray, you always hear us when we pray. Amen. And that we will have what we ask for. This is our confidence. That if we ask anything according to your will, we know that you hear us. And if we know that you hear us, we know that we have the petitions that we desire of you. Mm. So I thank you. We thank you, Lord, for what you're doing in your people to position us to cry out to you according to your truth, to, to, to decree a thing and see it established. Yeah. Mm. And that is who you've called us to be and what you've called us to do. And I thank you for your church taking her place and doing what you've called us to do in every area of life, in every part of our city, in every part of life in our city, in the family, in government, in, in business, in ministry, in every area. <laughs> Yes. It's all yours. Yes. And it's yes. all meant to glorify you and to serve your purposes. Mm -hmm. And we thank you, Father, for putting people in position in every one of these areas mm -hmm. to do your will. Thank you. Yes. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. <coughs> thank you. Thank you. Mm. Mm. Yes. Thank you, Can we pray for President Trump Let's and the do. government before we Let's finish? Do. Let's do. Mm. Let's yes, do. Lord. Father, we recognize mm. the awesome position that you've given to President Trump oh, my in these um, very difficult days. Lord, he seems to have um, gone through one chaotic uh, situation after another. And Lord, it's hard to imagine how any leader
can be sustained mentally, physically, oh. and oh. emotionally yeah. during such uh, incredibly Jesus. difficult times. Yeah. Yes, Lord. But God. Lord, but for the grace of God. That's yeah, right. And so, Father, we call upon you that, Lord, your grace will flood upon our president, yes. that, Lord, you will sustain him, that you would keep him, that, Lord, you'll give him good sleep, yes. that, Father, you would, um, you would um, work within his family, yes. that, Father, you would have excellent family relationships, that, Father, those things which are nurturing and comforting to him in the short whiles that he might have, that, Lord, you would give him those things that are necessary for his own life. And I pray in Jesus' name that uh, you will give him such clarity of wisdom and sensitivity of um, discernment mm. that he will understand who are those who stand around him and yes. who are those who listen and who are give advice, yes. that he would have such a discerning ear and eye. And that, Lord, you would speak into his being, Lord, that he will know exactly what to do. And, for, Father, we commit him to you. Yes, we we pray, Father, for right decisions concerning, Lord, mega things which are before us, even at this time, whether there should be yet another stimulus package. Lord, we just say, Father, let your will be done over that, Father. Lord, um, cause the monies that have been already distributed to be used equitably over this whole nation, Father. Yes, Lord. Lord, keep them from being um, side, um, siphoned off into that which is wrong, Lord, even um, stolen. We say, Father, in Jesus' name, keep your eye upon these things, and Lord, let there be watchdogs over that money. Mm. And Father, I, I pray, Lord, that it will be effective in the places where it, it ends up. I pray, Father, that, Lord, you would give great wisdom to President Trump, even at this time, Father, as he considers going forward with his own election, that, Lord, you will um, stand Encourage him, Father, even as his, his um, uh, poll numbers have just sunk. Lord, I pray, Father, that uh, those numbers will not daunt him in any That's way, right. that he won't even bother looking at them, Father. Yeah. Yeah. That, Lord, they probably are nothing. And I pray, Lord, that um, this uh, virus will cease its activity in, in this nation, Jesus, Father, and lead, Jesus. Lord, even through all this uh, violence and, and gathering that has been taking place on the streets in many places where that COVID-19 has been very active. Lord God, I pray, Father, that there will be a falling off of those uh, yeah. cases, not an increase. Lord, they say numbers are increasing, but Lord God, I just pray, Father, that uh, Lord, as the real figures come out, that it will not be seen to be so. Amen. Lord God, we just pray, Father, for the healing of those who are sick, and we pray, Father, for the fear of this disease to be rooted out of the hearts yes. of medical people yes. and out of um, the political people, Father. Yes, I pray, people. Father, that right. uh, the, the whole state, the states of this nation will not be ruled by the fear of their disease. And that, Lord, we'll be able to get back to normal, normal life, Father. Yes. And, Father, we will find ways of coping with this disease and coming to a place of faith that yes. the thing must be stacked out. Yes. And, Father, I just uh, commit this to you. I pray, Lord, over the issues of this um, uh, rioting. Yes. I pray, Lord, for a, an uncovering and an exposing of uh, workers yes. of... Um, yeah. uh, just the terrorism in our nation, Lord, from uh, exterior and also interior terrorism. I pray, Father, that they will be found and exposed. I pray, Father, for looters and those who burn things will also be caught. I pray, Father, for just a discernment of uh, those hundreds of thousands of videos they've got. Lord God, that uh, although their faces were covered, Lord, that they will be um, discovered and uncovered. And Lord yes. God, that those people will be prosecuted for the wickedness that they have enacted. I pray, Lord, they will not get away with it. I pray, Father, the leaders will not get away. I pray for those who are the organizers who, who dumped um, the, um, the missiles in specific places to be hurled at the police. I pray, God, that they will be uncovered. I pray for the FBI uh, work amongst them, um, among Antifa. Lord, that the FBI will be able to uncover exactly what is going on. I pray, God, that um, there will be um, uh, an agreement and acceptance even by the left in this nation that these things should not be so. 
God, we, we commit all this to you. We pray for our nation. We pray for President Trump that in the middle of so many um, convoluted problems mm. that God will give him peace, mm. grace, right. wisdom from on high, yep. and you'll guide him. I pray too for the um, that uh, behind closed doors thing, uh, I don't know, committee that's happening in the Senate mm. at this time, Lord. Mm. I pray God for the uncovering yes. of all that which was so absolutely evil, wicked, and wrong. Uh, to bring um, Flynn into the, that position in which he was and to bring our president into the position of being yes. impeached even. Father, we say expose all that wickedness yes. and let those who have perpetrated criminal acts, let them be brought to justice. Yes. We pray in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Well, before we end today, I just want to end with one verse of scripture. It's just illuminated my heart in light of how we're praying today. It's Micah mm -hmm. chapter 6, mm -hmm. verse 8. Yes. He has shown you, O oh man, what is good. Right. And what does the Lord require of mm -hmm. you? Yes. But to do justly, yeah. to love mercy, and to walk humbly with your oh, God. God. Right. Lord, may mm -hmm. this be our stance in this day. Yeah. That we will <coughs> do justly in all that we do. That we will love mercy, your mercy. Yes. And we will walk humbly with you. Yes. Amen. Lord, we, we just commit the church of the Lord Jesus Christ oh, yes. to you for this purpose. Yeah. And as we do this, Lord God, your will will be done in the earth. Oh, and we will be a model to those around us of what can be. <clears throat> and Lord, we just commit all of this to you and we say thank you. Thank you for praying with us today. We'll be here every week. There's no days like today. These days, you've got to pray more than ever before. Oh, so we hope you'll pray even beyond Friday. We're praying all the time, but as always, we're here on a Friday. But we ask you to pray. Continue to press in to the Lord. Thank you for joining us, and we bless you. See you next week. Bye-bye.